नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर कल्याणी बोंद्रे एन इंडियन क्लासिकल सिंगर इट इज़ माई एंडेवर टू ब्रिंग टू यू ऑल द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक इन अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मैट इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक इज द म्यूजिकल ट्रेडिशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट विच हैज इन टर्न टू सब ट्रेडिशंस the hindustani classical music which is the musical tradition of north india and the carnatic classical music which is the musical tradition of south india when we say classical it basically refers to ancient culture or ancient art forms in hindi we call this bharatiya shastriya sangeet the word shastra means science so classical music of india has certain rules and there's a certain science behind it rules which need to be followed now before we go into the details of hindustani classical music in particular let us first understand that any music genre basically has two foundations one is the sur which is the musical notes and the other is the taal or the rhythm cycle the sur the musical note as we know is a certain frequency found in nature and in all there are seven natural frequencies which in indian classical music we call as sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa re ga so sare gama padhani is called a saptak which is a set of seven natural frequencies so out of these seven musical notes which i just sang combinations are used to make a certain tune or a melody so you can say that these seven musical notes are the alphabet or the abcd of music and as in the alphabet we don't use all the 26 letters at the same time similarly we don't use them in the same order or in the same number so when we make certain words like for example is it has only two letters i and s similarly they are not in the same order always when you say cat c a t c comes before a similarly in music you don't use all the seven notes together all the time nor do you use them in the same order sa re ga ma pa dha ni to make a tune so a tune is made out of certain combinations of these notes for example a very simple tune happy birthday to you sa sa re sa ma ga now when you talk of indian classical music in particular there's something called a rag which is a unique feature of indian classical music so let me explain in brief what is a rag a rag is a subset of these seven notes so i'll give you the example of a very popular rag called bhup or bhupali which uses the five notes sa re ga pa dha it skips ma it skips ni and the entire set of bhupali is sa re ga pa dha sa sa dha pa ga re sa so like you just saw i sang these notes in first the ascending order and then the descending order you can visualize steps as in your walking up certain steps and then coming down using the same steps when you go up the ascent is called the aroha of the rag sa re ga pa dha is the aroha of rag bhupali sa re ga pa dha sa and when you come down 
the descent is called avaroha sadha paga resa now this is just an example different ragas may have different notes they may have five notes in the ascent all seven notes in the descent and many such permutations and combinations taking the example of rag bhupali when one says that a certain song is composed in rag bhupali it means that it uses these and only these five notes it doesn't use ma and it doesn't use ni so i'll first sing a very beautiful bandish in rag bhupali bandish is nothing but a composition using the notes of the rag nahi ma same notes of rag bhupali or bhup you have a lot of popular film songs jyoti kalash chale ke jyoti kalash chale ke dil hum hum kare ghabra thing which forms a rag is the notes which are used in the rag in our example sare ga pa dha sa but that is not the only thing which makes a rag the second thing is what is called the chalan the chalan is the path or the trajectory which the rag follows so like i said you can imagine that there are these five steps sare ga pa dha and then sa and how are you going to go along that track what is the kind of path that you're going to follow so there are certain phrases what we call swara sangati which also define a rag and the third thing is how you sing those particular notes so for example the same notes sa re ga pa dha sa can be sung in this way or they can be sung in this way sa re ga pa dha sa which is in common language known as lagav sur ka lagana sur ko kis tarah lagate hain how do you sing a particular note and that is also a very essential part which defines a rag because there could be and there are very often two ragas which have the same set of notes but different chalan and the way how you sing those notes is also different so the same notes of bhup or bhupali you find another rag called deskar but what is different is the chalan and the lagav so while bhup will go this way sare ga sare dhare sa 
using the same five notes of bhupali or bhup the other rag deskar will go this way sa re ga pa na pa na pa dha sa pa na pa ga pa dha pa ga re sa so in today's video we have tried to understand in a very simple way the basic concept of sur and the seven surs or the musical notes and the seven frequencies which make those musical notes and the basic concept of a rag in indian classical music of course there are a lot more nuances to both these concepts to sur as well as to rag which we will look at in some other video till then namaskar <laughs>